is a mess because I washed it yesterday because we are at the airport. This is gonna be Presley and Elliot's first airplane ride. We are here early. I woke up at like 5 a.m. this morning. We're a little bit over two hours early right now, but we have to check in with cats. Yeah, we're taking the cats with us on the airplane. We figured that was easier than trying to do like a long drive because it's gonna take like four days to drive the truck. Um, so everybody's going on the airplane, all the cats are going on the airplane. Uh, Leon's trying to see if we can get a baggage trolley thing right now so that we can not have to carry everything because we have both kids and both of their car seats because we're going to be extra safe on the airplane and some carry-ons and luggage and cats. And so, yeah. Presley? <laughs> are we going to go on an airplane? Yep. Yes. Yes? Ah, huh? over. Oh my goodness. We're going to go on an airplane today. Okay. Where are we going? Washington. Yeah. Are you excited? Yep. Yeah. Good. Are you ready? You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, you got a chocolate mouth? You ready to go airplane? Yeah. Airplane. That's me. Are you ready? Yeah. I have not been able to update you yet, and we will. We will definitely update. We are here. We had a very interesting way to get here, and then we ate, and we had a Target run, but it's, like, still light outside. <laughs> it's after 8 o'clock. It's almost 8.15. This is so different than Arizona. Normally, it'd be, like, getting dark and really dark by, like, 7.30, and it's not. What are you doing? What is that cold? I don't know. Okay, so it's actually the next day. I still never got to like fully give you guys an update on the trip to get here and everything like that. So we ended up taking a plane ride with us and the kids and the cats. And I mean, when I say us, I mean everybody. Like four adults, three kids, and the cats. And overall, it went pretty well. Um, it was a three hour plane ride. We got there a little bit early for the airport, like a couple hours early, but because we had to check in the cats and things like that, we <laughs> didn't have like a bunch of extra leftover time. Phoenix airports can be very crazy. We haven't had a trip since our honeymoon, I wanna say, like from an actual airport in a while. Um, so that was just something that like, you know, we had to do and so lots of security and stuff. Plane ride was good, both kids were amazing. Cats were not as happy with us, obviously. They were actually in the kennel for almost 11 hours yesterday. I felt so, so bad about it. We had one person complain about cats meowing. Um, wasn't even anybody near us that I know about. I think it was somebody that was complaining about one of the cats near my parents. Um, but it was like right after we had like done the ascent 
and the cats really did not like the ascent and the descent and like landing stuff. Normally, like throughout the plane ride, yeah, they me out a little bit, but it wasn't that crazy. So like after feeling really bad about having to make the cats go on a plane and be in kennels anyway, somebody complained and I was like feeling extra bad about it, but you know, I don't give a shit about them. I felt bad for the cats having to be cooped up and being hating, hating that they were doing that. They are perfectly fine now. We got to the house eventually. Um, I'll talk about that too. Um, but they got to get out. We went and got them, you know, litter box and litter and food and water and all that kind of stuff. And um, some of them have been upstairs hiding in this like hallway area. Um, but they've also just been very, very cuddly. Um, they are like, we still love you. So that's great. Um, but the reason why they were in the kennels for so long is that we also, just with seven people traveling and animals, it took us longer to get through airport stuff than we thought. So like we took both kids car seats cause I needed them in the rental car. Um, and it's safer for them on the plane. I was always going to put them in car seats. Um, but especially after the Singapore air flight thing that happened recently, like Put your kids in car seats. Elliot's not even technically two yet. She could have been a lap child, but like lap childs are projectiles in things like that. I would just not do it. I would use car seats. But so we were having to have car seats and some carry-ons to make sure that everybody had their stuff and the cats. It was just a lot to actually do. So once the plane landed, it took us longer to get off the plane. We decided to be last. Well, me and the kids and Leon were in the very back of the plane already. We were the last two rows but we waited to be the last people off so that we could actually get everything off without having to like bump into people and everything like that. So we were last to get off. We finally get the shuttle over to the rental car place. Um, our reservation for the rental car was like at one. Um, the plane actually landed a little bit late at like 1240. And so we did not even get to the rental car place until almost two. We originally had booked with budget. We didn't pay anything up front, which is great because they had a line snaked like four, I want to say like four rows, like from the counter, back, 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 uh, out of budget. And they only had three people working. At one point, one of those people left. I was in that line for a little while and I was like, you know what? I think we need to check one of these other rental car places here because nobody was in line like basically anywhere else. It was just budget, which is because they're cheaper. But I was like, I'm willing to pay a little bit more to get done faster. So we did end up paying like $400 more for how much I need a rental car for until like the guys get back here with the truck. Um, I paid more, but we got a car. The thing is our plan was originally to like get the rental car around one, one thirty. It's a hour-ish drive from the airport to the house um there's traffic and construction going on so we were supposed to have everybody including my parents and leon and everybody come to the house look at the house and we were gonna have two rental cars originally we eventually did not do that but we were gonna have two and then like my dad and leon were gonna go back because they had a flight out through delta to go back home because today wednesday they're getting the U-Haul and people are packing it for them, but then they're gonna be driving it for four days to get here. Uh, and that's why the cats flew. We did not want cats to have to have a four day drive. That would have been ridiculous trying to find hotels that prefer cats. I mean, most of them, if they're pet friendly are usually dogs. Um, and it was better to do a few hours on a plane. It was just, that was the choice we made. So by the time we actually got the car, and this is even after not waiting in that budget line, we got a car and my spot had only gone up to like halfway through the next lane. Like that thing was gonna take at least a few hours. But, because I wanted you guys to stay in here with me. But after getting the car, even after all that, not even going through budget, um, it was gonna take too long to get down here and it actually took us way longer than GPS even said. There was construction going on. And it's just something that was supposed to take us like an hour-ish definitely took at least an hour and a half, maybe two hours. We had to stop and get food too because we were starving. Um, so they stayed at the airport, had food there, went back home. I really wanted Leon to be one of the first people to see the house. Obviously he isn't. We're here. Um, I definitely want to do a house tour soon. 
Um, I put a poll up on Instagram today asking, do you want like an empty house tour? Cause like this is the master bedroom. It's actually really, really nice here. Oh, I just knocked into the girl cause she ran in front of me. Um, but so we have like two windows. There is the bathroom and stuff that way. There's a little closet here, even though there is a walk-in closet in the bathroom. And it has these like really nice double doors. Like this house is really, really nice. Um, but so far, a completed house tour where like we have all our furniture in it is winning because we are going to do that. I have a really nice space for my library. But so yeah, yesterday was just a little bit crazy hectic. We had to go to Target and get, you know, supplies because we didn't get to travel with all of our stuff yet. So we had to get some stuff that way. We had ordered Amazon to deliver some stuff for yesterday, like a futon and some baby gates and things like that, things that we need and we knew we needed and we wanted to like make sure it was here. It's delayed until at least today. I'm hoping it comes today, like fingers crossed, knock on wood. We need some of this kind of stuff because I had an air mattress, a single air mattress that I ended up sharing with both of these kids last night. Oh yeah, it's just on the floor. Um, because they were supposed to have toddler mattresses delivered so they could each have a mattress because they're each eventually, once we you know get settled, going to get their own bed. It's gonna still be here in the bedroom with us, but they're gonna get their own bed. So they're not sleeping with us all the time. Um, but so I had to like share a single air mattress with them. They ended up on like the pillow at the top and I ended up at the bottom of the bed. Did not sleep that great. So I'm hoping the stuff that I ordered actually comes in today. We're gonna do a Costco run today. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, just yesterday was crazy. in session here it is not in Arizona um, but I'm up in the room that the library is gonna be in I'm very very excited about it the lighting looks pretty darn good to me like I'm very very excited for this I'm hoping to have like an update for this also like planning the library and putting it together and stuff eventually because like I have no idea what I want to do with it yet because I have like an entire room for books and my computer and my setup and it's gonna be very, very exciting. Um, today is, what is today? Thursday? I never know anymore. It's been just crazy. Nobody knows what day it is. Um, Thursday, the guys have the truck. They are moving it. They should be here Saturday evening-ish. Um, but yesterday they were back in Phoenix and had like movers and stuff to actually like do it for us. One of the movers showed up two hours late and they were supposed to have like two loaders for four hours total. I think they said they averaged it out or something where like one guy that was there earlier technically stayed a little bit longer and the guy that showed up late, like they, they stopped at the same time, but they averaged it out so they had the right amount of time. But because that guy was late and they had to stay longer and do more stuff and it sort of ended up leaving the guys to do a little bit more stuff, um, they didn't start driving until like five something or whatever it was. And yesterday I had the least amount of, there's planes. Can we see? Oh, where's the plane? Oh, we almost, we almost got it. We are by like a little airport sort of area. And so the last couple of days we have been seeing tons of these little tiny little planes. Um, it took them forever to get driving yesterday. So they didn't even get to the hotel that we had planned because I planned the entire itinerary of like stops and hotels and I made sure the hotels were pet friendly because they're taking the dogs and you know making sure that it had enough space for a 26 foot U-Haul towing a car. Um, they didn't get there till like 1 30 in the morning. I felt so bad for that because like it was supposed to if they were on schedule not take that long realistically. 
Um, today we went out and just like, not exactly explored, more like my mom had an appointment to get her fingerprint clearance done because she works at a preschool and they transferred her to a branch over here. Um, and so like, you know, needed to do that kind of stuff. Elliot is finally taking a nap. She was fighting it today. Um, but yeah, see another plane. There it is. There it is. Bye plane. Tons of planes. It's just very, a different vibe here than Arizona, which is great. That was sort of the reason. Can I set you guys? Look at that. That was sort of the reason that we wanted to come here was the vibe and like the weather was better and like so far, so good for that. Our AC still not working. Did I mention this before? Our AC slash heater was not working the first night that we were here. The first night we were here, the, the day that we landed on Tuesday, it was a little bit rainy. And so overnight it got pretty cold. Like we were like, we don't have enough blankets, which is hilarious because we have tons of blankets at home that, you know, got packed and was using to move and stuff. Um, so we don't have enough blankets here. And then yesterday, now that the rain is gone, it is now on the upswing to a little bit more hotness. Like in a couple days, it's supposed to be like 80, which is not bad, especially coming from Arizona where every day has been over a hundred lately. Um, but we have no AC or heater at all. There's no fans in here, nothing. So last night going into nighttime was warm because the room that we're basically hanging out in the living room area is west facing. And so we got all of that daytime sun at the end of the day sunsets not until like 9 9 15 so like it was not dark the kids were ready to go to bed but at the same time it wasn't dark and so they were like um when are we going to bed but also Presley was tired but Elliot was like no it's not dark out yet like it was it was a very interesting vibe and because of that it was warm because we had lots of sunlight um, as soon as you were in a part of the house that wasn't directly in the sun, it was perfectly fine, but we don't have AC or heater. Um, I don't know how to make it work. We did talk to the landlords and stuff and they're sending somebody out hopefully today, but we haven't heard anything back. Um, like they scheduled it, but we don't know when or what. We don't have internet yet either. That is supposed to be delivered today. It says it's out for delivery. I'm gonna have to try and figure that out. I ordered it, you know, to come in like the day that we were supposed to arrive, but it had like a one to two business day thing. I knew that was gonna happen. We have hotspots on our phone, it's good. But it's just a lot of like little bits and pieces. And, and like I said, the school is still in session. So we've seen like some bus stops and like kids and stuff. Presley, I need to figure out exactly which elementary school he's gonna go to. There's gonna be another plane. Yeah. We're gonna have to figure out what elementary school he's gonna go to. I need to like call them and like get the packet of paperwork. I need to find his shot records again because I had them in a special place and I brought a bunch of like important paperwork here with me, like their birth certificate and stuff. But I don't remember if I put the shot records in there or if it's with the other important information that got packed. Gotta figure that out. Um, but yeah, so like the vibe, so different but I'm actually loving it. So like we've only gone to a few different places. Like we've gone to Costco. We went to Costco yesterday. We've gone to Target. We had to go somewhere to get my mom's fingerprints today. We went to the school that she's going to be teaching at. Um, and so like that kind of thing, we're on one sort of like main street. And then it's like a very sort of suburban neighborhood out like off the side of that. And one thing that I've really noticed is that a lot of the streets, even the main street that we're on only has like max, two lanes both ways. Whereas like Arizona, you can get max three, four lanes both ways. And so the vibe of it is very different. Like Arizona has a lot of drivers that are like, you have to go at least, at least 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, otherwise you're going too slow. And like, they're very weaving in and out of traffic, lots of room to do that because of how many lanes that there is. And it's just like a go, 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 go. Here, there's only a couple lanes maximum sometimes even one to one and because of that traffic's not necessarily moving like where it's like oh there's so much traffic but you can tell the vibe is very different like i will just driving in phoenix go and like we're driving along people are very much like you need to be fast and there's tons of people that run red lights like you're coming up to a yellow light or red light okay and so as i was saying we would have what? I'm in here? Presley! In the library! Yeah? I don't see you. 
Oh, where are you? Hello, hello. Did you miss me? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? I was talking to the camera, filming a video, talking all about Washington. Hey. Yeah. So this is gonna be mommy's library. Look at that. Look at that trampoline and that one. Yeah, some of the houses have trampolines. And that one. Yes. So as I was saying, a lot of people will like red light run in Phoenix, whereas like you're coming up to a yellow light, knowing there's gonna be a red light. And like, obviously, if you can't stop, do not slam on your brakes to do that. Go through that yellow light, but you'll have a lot of people. Um, you see a playground? Do you see a playground? No. It's past the houses, I think. We'll see in a second uh, later, okay? You'll have a lot of people see that it's a yellow light and then try and speed up. And there will be usually at least two cars per red light in the area that we were living in that like they miss the yellow light. They are technically red light runners and they just keep going. So like when you're at a stop light, you do not want to go on green because a lot of the time there are people that go through like a ton. It is a very big problem nowadays in Phoenix or especially like near the freeway where we used to live where you would have a ton of people during rush hour where they want to turn onto the freeway. And so you have to have like stop at the overpass and then you're not supposed to be blocking shit. And there would always be five or six cars blocking so that if you're coming off the freeway and wanting to get into the normal lanes, you can't because everybody that wants to turn onto the freeway is in the way. There was just so much traffic and like bad car decisions. Here, I have only seen two people in the last two days yeah. that are potential red light runners that way no, compared to like two per light okay. in Arizona. Mommy, two Liza's in two days. Here. Yeah, Liza's is right here. Two in two days. Like I saw one this morning who for sure missed the yellow light because I saw the yellow light and I stopped. They for sure had their bumper back behind the line when it was red, but they just went anyway. And then there was one yesterday who was behind me and I had a yellow light and I knew I couldn't stop in time. So I went through the yellow light because it was very, very close. And they followed me and I'm like, they could have been on the red light, but that one I couldn't confirm. So one, potentially two people in the last two and a half days have potentially been red light runners in the way that like when you're in Phoenix, you see at least like two people per light. Like if you're driving, you see multiple on your drive. And so like that sort of vibe of people just, they don't seem to be in as much of a hurry. Like you're not seeing a ton of people going over the speed limit and thinking that's the normal way to do things. So like that has just been, that vibe is just much better to me. Like I don't like, feeling like you have to be over the speed limit. Like obviously when I was driving in Phoenix, I was because that's the flow of traffic. You do not want to impede the flow of traffic. So you do have to basically drive at least five to 10 miles over the speed limit. And that's in the not left lane. If you're in the left-hand lane, especially on freeways, you are doing faster than that because of the fact that that's just the vibe there. That's just the vibe there. The, that is not the vibe here. And I'm really, really enjoying that. So. I felt bad for the guys last night because they took forever to get going. That was not their fault. But I'm I'm happy that we're here. Everything is still not here because it's on the truck. They are not gonna be here till like Saturday, Saturday evening. So right now it is Thursday afternoon, two something. Elliot finally took a nap. I got some laundry started. Cats are hanging out. They've actually been doing really, really well now. They hated the plane, but they're doing so much better. Um, so yeah, we're just sort of, chilling i guess i don't know is this an interesting moving vlog i really really wanted to have more moving footage originally like when we first came to the house but because the guys couldn't come because of the car situation i didn't get to do any like b-roll i uh, really wanted to but yeah that's what it is we have more planes
we end our official moving vlog sort of thing because yesterday we had people come to unpack the whole U-Haul. I'm currently in the library where I'm now going to have to figure out how I'm doing everything. I have like nine bookshelves here um, plus all of the boxes of books. This is actually a book that came like the day my husband was getting all the stuff. Um, but so our house is now covered in boxes. We are slowly making our way through stuff. Um, I do want to get all the book library stuff done soon just because I want to get back into the actual like filming of everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, my, my desk is even over here, which is great, right? Right there, a desk. Um, I'm really, really excited that I have like a whole room for everything, but it's a little bit of a mess right now. The kids' toy room is a mess. Our room's not horrible, but we do need to like sort things. We were doing the kitchen this morning and I think we're gonna do that more later today as well. Um, and so we will have a whole house tour and a library organization and possibly um, a library bookshelf tour, stuff like that coming soon because I definitely need to clean this room up. Like, I don't know how long it's gonna take us to actually sort through everything. I have no idea how I want this all to go, but we're here, we're in Washington. All of our stuff is here, which is great. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It has been a very long process, but I feel like we're finally getting into like, we're doing stuff, which I love. 